I know what you may be thinking right now, which is, oh no, not another Mavic Air 2 precision landing video. However, in this video, I want to take on the discussion of the Mavic Air 2 precision landing accuracy from a slightly different angle. The question I'm going to try to answer in this video is, is there a difference in precision landing accuracy in tripod, normal, and sport modes with the Mavic Air 2? In order to answer this, let's talk briefly about tripod, normal, and sport modes, the obstacle avoidance function, and the vision and infrared sensors on the Mavic Air 2. And for those of you that may be new to the Mavic Air 2, first of all, congratulations. I think you made a very wise choice, and I hope you grow to appreciate this excellent drone as much as I do. If you aren't sure what I'm talking about, tripod, normal, and sport modes are flight modes that are selected on the remote controller. These flight modes determine how responsive and how fast the drone will fly. Tripod mode is used for making very small flight movements, good for getting smooth cinematic video. Sport mode, on the other hand, will give you the quickest and most responsive flight characteristics, and normal mode will give you a balance between smooth and slow and quick and responsive flight characteristics. Personally, sport mode is where I spend about 95% of my flying, unless I need to slow it down for certain video or photo shots. Obstacle avoidance on the Mavic Air 2 relies on the sensors located on the front, rear, and bottom of the Mavic Air 2. We know that obstacle avoidance is active while operating in tripod and normal mode, but is automatically switched off during sport mode. This can be seen on the DJI Fly app by the red icon here on the left side of the main screen of the app and here in the Obstacle Avoidance Action section of the Safety tab. Keep in mind that the Mavic Air 2's vision and obstacle sensing system consists of vision sensors located on the front and rear of the drone and vision and infrared sensors located on the bottom as well. By the way, the yellow lens in the middle here is the LED landing light. So the question I asked myself was, in sport mode, are the bottom vision and infrared sensors turned off just like the front and rear sensors? In my reading of the Mavic Air 2 user manual, version 1.2, it seemed to imply that the answer was yes, but I couldn't find a definitive answer. However, in my experience while trying to hand catch the Mavic Air 2 for landing in sport mode, I know that the bottom obstacle sensors must be active in sport mode because the drone definitely resists coming close to my hand unless I hold downward pressure on the left stick, which forces the Mavic Air 2 to override the obstacle avoidance function. So what does obstacle avoidance and the bottom sensors have to do with landing accuracy? Well, on the Mavic Air 2, the precision landing function depends on the bottom sensors, and obviously if the sensors are turned off, then it would most likely affect the precision landing performance. Okay, so back to the main question and the point of this video, which is, is there a difference in accuracy in the Mavic Air 2 precision landings in tripod, normal, or sport modes? Well, let's head outside and get the drone in the air and find out. All right, for each one of these flights, we're going to let it climb up to uh, seven meters, just like it's supposed to, so that the uh, infrared and vision sensors can get a good picture of the ground. So when it's flying back, technically, it should make a better landing, more accurate landing. All right, here we go. And we are definitely in tripod mode. And we have seven meters. OK, let's just fly them out now. And again, we're just doing this textbook we're letting it climb up to that seven meters first before we head out all right that was the first flight the first landing all right we're in tripod mode again this is our second flight in tripod mode we'll go up to seven meters return to home this is our second return to home and we're in tripod mode coming up overhead again for our second landing in tripod mode landing fairly windy today you see the drones kind of having a little bit of a hard time staying in the same spot, but it's doing pretty well. That's not bad right there. Okay, so that was the second landing. Let's uh, take off for the third one in tripod mode. Up 20 and out 60. That's close enough. We're setting up for our third landing in tripod mode. Pretty good. All right, not bad. All right, let's switch over to normal. Now we're in normal mode. This is gonna be our first flight first takeoff first landing in normal mode the GPS will bring it to its approximate location and then as it gets to 20 or 30 feet above the ground it's going to make that switch like right here it's going to make that shift as the vision sensors start to engage and really fine-tune its position 
Okay, pretty good for our first landing in normal mode. I'm not even gonna move it. This is our second takeoff for normal mode. Drone's climbing up to its default return to home height, which is approximately 100 feet, 34 meters. And again, we're doing everything textbook otherwise. We're letting it climb up to seven meters, getting a good picture of the ground before it departs out horizontally. And that's pretty good for our second flight in normal mode. Okay, this is lining up pretty well for our third landing in normal mode. It made that switch right there as the vision sensors kicked in and fine-tuned its position. All right, not bad. That's our third landing in normal mode. Okay, let's switch to sport mode. All right, now this will be our first flight in sport mode. We just got the low battery warning, so we're coming home anyway, so we're just gonna let it do its thing. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get another battery. Now we're gonna check and see if sport mode has any effect on the landing performance. All right, this is our first landing in sport mode so far. It's looking really good. Okay, maybe got a little bit of a wind drift. That was our first landing in sport mode. I'm gonna switch out the battery here. We got a new battery, relatively new battery anyway, and this is gonna be our second flight in sport mode. All right, we're lining up for our second landing in sport mode. Very good. All right, second landing in sport mode. All right, let's fire it back up for our third takeoff, third flight in sport mode. Okay, very good. Let's climb up to seven meters. Let it capture a good image of the ground with its vision and infrared sensors. I think I might do one more in sport mode just as an extra data point, especially since I traded that battery out. So let's plan on doing one more. All right, very good. All right, this is our fourth flight and fourth landing in sport mode to test the accuracy of our precision landing performance of the Mavic Air 2 with tripod mode, normal mode, and sport mode to see if there's any real difference between the, the three. And we're keeping this test pretty straightforward. I'm not going out and doing any maneuvers. I'm not changing the direction that we fly. I'm keeping it the same as as much as possible. All right, and that's our fourth landing in sport mode. We'll call that hitting the target. I think that's close enough. Wow, that was a lot of takeoff and landings, and I think I need therapy after all that beeping from, from the RTH mode. I tried to make this as interesting as possible while keeping it short and sweet. But in case you're a little overwhelmed like me with all those flights, here's a quick recap of all the landings. Well, as you can see from this quick and completely unscientific test, there seems to be no difference in precision landing accuracy in tripod, normal, and sport modes. And it also seems pretty clear that the bottom sensors are still active in sport mode. I'm curious to hear if others out there have experienced different results, and if so, please leave a comment down below. Well, if you're still here, I greatly appreciate you staying until the end. My goal on this channel is to create high quality, thoughtful, informative, and hopefully even entertaining content, mainly on the topic of drones, mirrorless cameras, action cameras, as well as all the cool gear that go along with those things. If that sort of thing interests you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know if, if I'm on the right track with my content. In any case, I appreciate you being here right now and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.